Hello everybody, Mr. Lego Lover 55 here, and welcome to another Lego set review. Today we're taking a look at set 21144, The Farm Cottage. This set is recommended for ages 8 and up, and has around 549 pieces. So here on the front you can see everything that it comes with, then down here it lists all of the minifigures. Um, over here in the corner it says that you can rebuild the model uh, in a few steps. Uh, then we've got the Lego Minecraft logo at the top, and you could also see that uh, we have a new uh, corner box art there. Uh, it used to be the Creeper Face, then it was the Pickaxe, and now it is Steven Alex. Uh, then if we turn over to the back, you can see all of the play features. Uh, you can see some of the models that you can rearrange it into, and all of the other play features here. So, let's go ahead and open this thing up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and it's gonna be a little bit difficult. This is a quite a big box, so I'm just gonna use this uh, and cut the tape there and over here. There we go. Open up the box and dump out all the contents. Just put the box off to the side. So here's everything we get. So. Let me just... So, we get two instruction manuals. We get instruction manual... Got yeah, instruction manual one, as well as instruction manual two. And we get stickers. Uh, I'm not sure if, we get stick if we've gotten stickers in any other LEGO Minecraft minifig scale sets. Uh, not sure about that. This might be the first. Um, bag one, bag two, bag three, whoops, and bag four. Okay, so this is a bit of a refresh refresher. Uh, there are not 24 bags like the Mountain Cave, uh, so it'll, it's going to be nice to build a smaller set, I guess. But uh, anyways, that's enough of that, so let's go ahead and... I'm going to build this thing, and I'll be right back. So here is this set all built up, and now there is quite a lot of stuff going on, so let's go ahead and begin. So I guess we'll start over here, uh, near this end, near the farm part. So you can see we've got some of the animals here. We've got two bunnies, which is the first time we've seen those ever before. Uh, we'll take a look at those later. Uh, we've also got uh, the donkey and Alex here. She's feeding him uh, some seeds, which uh, we'll take a look at all all that stuff later, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and move these off to the side for right now. Uh, you can see we've got a farm there, and there are three banners there, which are uh, new printed pieces, as in, and they are exclusive to this set. We've got a banner for a carrot, some wheat, and beetroot, so those are pretty cool. Um, over here, oh, we'll start with the carrots. So we've got some partially grown carrots and then some full grown carrots. And you can actually take out the full grown carrots. Uh, you can take them out of the ground, which I think is a neat play feature. Now, when I first saw that fun that uh, feature, I wasn't exactly too sure how to feel about it because I would have preferred if they had maybe just had it sticking out like that. But I actually like this way a lot better. Um, so I really do like what they did there. Very clever use of pieces. Um, then here we've just got some wheat growing. I guess that's sort of... Um, not fully grown because there's a bit of green there. Um, and then we've got the beetroots, which uh, this isn't the first set we've ever, first Minecraft set we've gotten with beetroots before. I think the first was technically the Crafting Box 2.0. But uh, this, uh, the beetroots do have a new design. Pretty much all these crops have a new design because they use the new uh, flower piece. I'll just take one out right here. So, oops, they use this new uh, five petal flower piece. So, uh, I believe this is new to 2018, and this, so far, this is, I don't know, you get, you get quite a lot of these in this set. You get, like, one, like, uh, 16 in this set, and then also you get an extra one, so technically you get 17 in the, in just this one set, so if you want a lot of those new pieces, then this is probably one of the sets you'll want to get. Um, so that's the farm area there, then right here we have a baby pig and a pen right here, and you can see, uh, the baby pig is wearing a name tag, so uh, we'll also, I'll get to that later, but, uh, you can pretty much, you can open the fence gates, uh, just like any normal fence gate. Um, something I do like with that, what they did here is that they, uh, made the fence gate, uh, more compact than it used to be, so that's something I really like, they put the actual hinge piece inside of the block, so, 
Uh, that's something I think they did very well on. I'm glad they did that because the other one, because before it was just sticking out and it was just very, I guess, large. I've, it was taking up a lot of space, so I'm glad they sort of uh, condensed it uh, into just that. So very happy about that. Um, so that's pretty much it for the farm area, but then we've actually got the farm cottage itself, and it's a quite a neat looking house, I'll say. So it's got the yellow roof, I guess. That's supposed to be maybe like hay or yellow wool, not exactly sure what. Uh, we've got a map uh, piece there, that is a printed piece. Uh, that is, so far, it's not exclusive to the set, but this is the cheapest way to get it. Uh, previously, it came only in the Mountain Cave set, uh, so it's nice to get another one of those, because I do have the Mountain Cave, but uh, also very nice to get that in a cheap set for those who don't have it. Although, although really, this isn't Although, technically, this is the most expensive set of the wave, but uh, this is going to... If you really want that map piece, this is the cheapest set. Uh, we've also got that new furnace design, which is really cool. So, uh, I don't have the other furnace to compare he, to compare it to, but I did look at it... Um, I did compare it and look at it in person, and I think this one looks a whole lot better. I think the fire uh, right there looks a lot better than just... Uh, translucent plates, so I think that works. And then it's actually double-sided, so on this side it's a burning furnace, on the other side it's a dormant furnace, so I think that's really cool what they did there. And if you don't uh, want uh, it to be double-sided, you could always uh, just flip uh, one of the prints inside, just like that, and so you could just have one facing out like that, but uh, I'm going to keep it double-sided for now. Uh, I also put a cookie on top there, because why not? Uh... Uh, we've got some sugar cane growing here on the side, so whoops, just gonna move camera camera around here. Uh, so we've got some a little lake er, right here. Uh, that flower piece once again is used. Uh, so technically you get 18, although this one isn't in green, but you do get it in this sort of purple color. Uh, that's uh, sort of a new design for the flower as well. Uh, one of those lily pads, that's a really cool... I think the lily pad design is really cool. This is the first time I've seen it in person, because I think it was first introduced in the Witch Hut, uh, but I never got that set, and I think it came in a few other ones, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but this is the first time I've seen it in person, so I think the design of that is really uh, cool, using those curved uh, tiles, tile pieces. I think that looks really good. Um, over here by Steve, uh, we've got sort of a uh, blacksmith area, I guess you could call it, because we have an anvil there, that is an anvil, and a, a block of lava, a source block, I think, uh, and then we've also got a chest here, and this chest is full of a bunch of name tags, and these are just one by 2 tiles with, unfortunately, stickers on them. I would have preferred if they were printed pieces, but I understand why they're not. That would have probably cost more uh, to produce, but uh, they were still really cool that we actually get name tags in this set in one in some sort of form. So uh, this is the actual uh, name tag. It's on this uh, white bracket piece, um, and it just has a 1x2 tile attached to it, and then there's a sticker on that tile. Uh, this name tag has got Fluffy on it, uh, there's other ones such as Bones, there's also Dinner there, then there's Lydia, which, uh, I'll actually, uh, there's actually a couple, some of these names are actually Easter eggs, I believe, and then you actually do get, uh, three, uh, blank unnamed ones, so, like, you could, uh, so you got three of these ones, so they just have the just like open, just leave it open like that. Uh, then right here we have an anvil, and there's actually a play feature here, so uh, there's this thing, this little lever here on the side, if you push that down, that block goes up, and when you let go of it, it goes back down. So you can sort of uh, simulate, because uh, what you do, the way you uh, put a name on a name tag is you put it in an anvil and rename it, so uh, that's sort of simulating this, uh, that, uh, function in Minecraft, so you would just put it like that, and you would, uh, I guess, imprint the name on it, I guess it's supposed to be representing like that. Uh, there's also a couple other names here on the pig, there was uh, the name Pixel, and then on the donkey there was the name Max, um, and uh, some of these name tags are actually Easter eggs, like I said. Um, Max here is actually, I believe, a reference or Easter egg to one of the designers uh, that works on the LEGO Minecraft team. Um, 
Also, Lydia, I think, is also one of the people who uh, works on Minecraft, I think. Uh, and I'm not sure if this was intentional or not, but Dinner in Bones, I think that's supposed to be a reference to Dinner Bone, uh, also, who works, who, he's also one of the people who works on the Minecraft game. Um, then, uh, Fluffy is just sort of a name, that's, so yeah, the rest are not Easter eggs, but some of them are Easter eggs, which I think is really cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and move these off to the side. But, uh, yeah, I think the name, ta name tag uh, concept is really cool. Hopefully they'll include that in more sets in the future, but uh, we just we'll just have to wait and see. Then, let's actually take a look at the actual farm cottage. So, here we have the farm cottage. Uh, you have a door right here that can open. It's just on a hinge there. You can open and close. Um, and you can sort of see inside there, but if you want to see more you can take off the roof, so you can take off this roof and this roof, and then you can also take off uh, this part, uh, and there's just uh, it's just some hay uh, stacks in there, so just two hay blocks. Um, then on the inside you can see there is a bed. Uh, I'll try to show you. So here we've got just a bed and a crafting table, and so something they're introducing in these new Minecraft sets is different colored beds, because that is something that was in the recent update for uh, Minecraft. There are now colored beds, which is something I think they should have added long ago, but uh, they added it then, so uh, now LEGO Minecraft is adding, adding it, and I think it's a really good idea. So I believe this is a uh, yellow bed, even though it's uh, the co technical LEGO color I think is keep orange for that, but I think it's supposed to be representing a yellow bed, because a lot of the colors in the recent Minecraft update, I think 1.12, uh, a lot of the colors for wool and stuff did change, so I think that is supposed to be all. And then, yeah, once again, crafting table there, nothing too special. Uh, also, I'll just say, I'm surprised there are actually, there's not a single torch in this set, and usually uh, there's quite, there's at least one or two torches in a LEGO Minecraft set, but this one just doesn't have any. That's just honest, just not exactly important, but I thought I'd point that out. I thought just, that, that was pretty surprising to me, I guess. Um, but yeah, these are modular, so you can just put them back on very easily, just like that. Uh, there we go. So, um, honestly, I think that's it for the farm cottage. Now, there is a couple alternate builds, but they're very easy to do. So, uh, this is also another modular piece. So, I'm just going to be looking off the box for these builds. So, uh, can take off. So, these are the only assemblies that are modular that you could take off. So, uh, I guess we'll start with uh, uh, this one. So... Okay, so for this one, and like, uh, normally I would cut for these uh, alternate builds, but these ones are really easy to make since they're just, uh, you're not really taking anything apart like they used to. Uh, yeah, then that goes there, then uh, that goes there, and this here. So this is the first alternate build, and... Nothing exactly too interesting, they just rearranged a couple of things, but it's still pretty neat that you're able to do this. So, uh, you can see there's little, I guess, sort of two uh, farm cottages or whatever. There's a tiny little farm, I guess, uh, maybe shack or whatever. And then there's also sort of one right here. Um, I think the next one's actually better. So the next one, you uh, put the roofs like this, or wait, no, 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 you put the roofs there, and there, and you move this to right here. And this is the last alternate build, so also I think this is the one I think is the best alternate build, but uh, I honestly do like the original model uh, the best. But uh, yeah, it's just fun how you can rearrange the models like that, and you could just you could do it very quickly and easily, so it's not a whole, it's not a pain in the butt, so yeah, you can just, it's a thing you can do if you want to, but you don't have to, you could always just leave it uh, in the original, you can just leave it as the original model if you want. But uh, anyways, I think that's pretty much it for the actual set, for the actual farm cottage, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. So here's Steve, 
there's nothing new about him. He doesn't even have any new accessories. We've gotten the wooden shovel and cookie before, so nothing special about Steve here. Also, again, same old Alex. Nothing really new with the figure. She has an iron pickaxe. I wish that was a stone pickaxe instead. Uh, the only interesting accessory that she does have is this printed seed piece, which, uh, I'm not exactly a big fan of. I would have preferred... I'm not exactly sure why they printed it brown and dark tan. They should have done it, uh, green. Uh, different shades of green, because that's how it actually is in the Minecraft game, but, uh, I still think it's a okay print, but not the biggest fan of it. Skeleton is the same skeleton we've been getting for pretty much since 2014. Maybe someday they'll have him with an enchanted bow. Hopefully we'll get that sometime in the future. Here is one of the newer figures of the set. This is the donkey. Um, he has a new, uh, printed, uh, head, head face, I guess, or head, so that's pretty neat. Uh, He's also wearing a saddle, and he has the max name tag on right now. Unfortunately, when you have the name tag on, it's hard to sit a player on it, but, uh, oh well. Also, one thing I sort of dislike is that they didn't add the, uh, the feature where it could stand on its hind legs like they did with the horse in the crafting box, so they unfortunately took away that with this, uh, sort of horse-type figure, even though it's a donkey, it sh I think it should still be able to do that. Um, he's also got some of these, uh, sacks here to represent chests, that, uh, cause that's what donkeys can do if you, you can put chests on a donkey to carry items. But, uh, other than that, very neat figure, uh, let's take a look at the next one. The baby pig is not a new figure. I would have preferred if we had maybe gotten a different baby mob, because so far, the baby pig is the most common baby mob, I believe, because it's come in two other sets besides this one. It's come in the Iron Golem and the Village. So, I would like it, I'd li maybe if they had done the baby cow again, because I wouldn't mind that, because baby cows only come in one set so far. Um, this one has the name tag Pixel on it. This is debatably, these are going to be debatably the cutest uh, mobs of this set. Well, I'm pretty sure they are. We've got bunnies for the first time in LEGO Minecraft, or rabbits. Uh, we get a black rabbit here, uh, l very nice build. The head is all one piece. Uh, uh, I really like the design of it. I feel like it's a bit big, but uh, I'm sure they will uh, later down the line uh, sort of redesign it a few times, and maybe they'll make it smaller. Then we have the baby bunny. This one is in dark tan, and it has the exact same head mold as this one, but the body is built differently. It's just a couple of pieces instead of a couple, just a couple like plates and studs uh, rather than a couple of headlight bricks, but uh, still pretty neat figure. So let's take a quick look here at the instructions here on the front. Pretty much the same stuff as on the front of the box. Here on this page, it shows that if you that you should uh, organize your pieces according to the numbered bags, brick separator thing, uh, instructions, instructions, more instructions, instructions. Then we get to the end of the instruction manual where it says to go on to instruction manual number two. Uh, it shows here that you can combine all of the. Uh, winter 2018 sets, so definitely gonna maybe make a video on that. I've already done this already, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to make a video on that. Uh, then it shows all the other uh, 2018 sets for the first wave, so looks very, very neat there. Uh, advertisement for LEGO Life, and that's it for this instruction manual. Then the next instruction manual starts off with instructions, and there's more instructions, and then there is the final product uh, right here, and then here it goes into the alternate uh, buildable models that you can do just by rearranging some of the modular stuff. Uh, then we have our good old list of pieces, and an awesome poster for the LEGO Minecraft 2018 sets. That is a really cool poster. You've got all the sets there, except for the nether portal, I think. So they've got the farm cottage, the chicken coop, the melon farm, uh, the zombie cave. Okay, so maybe, yeah, they're missing the uh, nether portal and the, the nether fight, but that, it's pretty obvious why they aren't here. Oh, and they're also missing the polar igloo, but yeah, the, it's pretty obvious why those aren't here, because it doesn't exactly fit in with these ones, but still, awesome poster. And advertisement for legominecraft.com. And that's pretty much it for the instructions, so let's go ahead and get on to the end of the video. Overall, I think this is a pretty neat set, however, I do have a few gripes with it. Uh, one is that a lot of the figures aren't exclusive. Uh, Steve, Alex, the skeleton, the baby pig, but the rest are exclusive, such as the bunny, the baby bunny, and the donkey. 
Um, those are some, but that's sort that's sort of uh, the only. Those are the only figures, though. Um, uh, but other than that, I think that's. I think those are really the only. I guess. Uh, I guess problems I have. Actually, wait. There's also another thing. I feel like there isn't enough play features. Although that's not. I'll not exactly a bad thing. However, I feel like a lot of them. It's sort of inconsistent with a lot of the previous LEGO Minecraft sets because a lot of them did have some major play feature, whereas this one only has the uh, name tag anvil function. Uh, and pretty much other than that, the only other play feature is uh, the modular uh, pieces that you can uh, move around and rearrange. Uh, so I feel like uh, maybe it could have used one or two more play features uh, to make this set more exciting. Um, I have uh, now, for things I really do like about this set, like I said, I like the exclusive uh, figures or mobs, uh, the bunnies and the donkey. I also do like the banner prints for the carrot, wheat, and beetroots. Those are very nice to get. So those are, because uh, this is, I believe, the first, uh, well, not, it's not the, not the first wave to include banners, because we did get a couple in the fortress and in, uh, I think, another set. I, I may be wrong about that. But, uh, yeah, so banners are pretty neat pieces. Um, the price to part ratio on this set is pretty good as well, pretty average, 549 pieces for, uh, I think it was a $50 set, I can't remember, but, uh, yeah, I think this is, that was a good, it's a good price to part ratio, but overall, I think it's just not very, I guess, exciting to me, there's nothing that, I guess, really interests me a whole lot like some of the other sets, but, uh, I, and also, I think another thing I don't like is that they included an iron pickaxe in this set when they, when I feel like they should have done a stone pickaxe, because we still don't have a stone pickaxe yet. We're still waiting on that. But, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, this set's just not very exciting to me. There isn't a whole lot of uh, new stuff in this set that you can't get in other sets. Uh, actually, so, okay, I'm, I'm forgetting about a lot of things also. Just, I feel like there's just a lot of cool... There's uh, quite a few cool small things, but uh, uh, I feel like just the overall uh, build of the set, the farmhouse, I feel like they just could have done more with it. I think it's I think it's mainly the play features, but I'm not exactly too sure. But uh, honestly, I think that's really all I have to say, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and keep building!